So understanding generally how production functions work, we can now move on to a specific production function. We're going to look at the Cobb-Douglas production function, and we're going to show in this video that it satisfies the properties that we said a production function should have. So the Cobb-Douglas production function has this form. We say GDP is equal to state of technology times capital to the power of some figure alpha times labor to the power of one minus alpha. Now, does this satisfy the properties of a production function? Well, we had our properties regarding marginal products. So first, we should calculate what those marginal products are. When we take the partial derivative, first with respect to labor, note that a times k to the power of alpha is a constant with respect to labor. When we're taking the partial derivative, we treat all other variables as constants. So we're going to keep that in, a k alpha. And then essentially we're just differentiating L to the power of 1 minus alpha. So when you differentiate a variable to some power, you just take the power out the front. So we get 1 minus alpha out the front. And then you decrease the power by 1. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this original one, and then I'm going to say divide by L. Because when you subtract 1 from a power, you're basically just dividing by that number. You know, if we differentiate x squared, 